Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nikravan. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, I wanted to share with you a, a quick case about a patient that presented at the office with non-specific symptoms of fatigue, lack of energy, uh, some mental fog, abdominal discomfort, and occasional not feeling sharp, maybe some confusion. Uh, her workup has been really unremarkable. Uh, she's been worked up by a primary care provider and all the lab tests have looked inconclusive so far. So she came to the office and we looked at her and uh, three things came to my mind is why is a young a healthy female all of a sudden now presenting with uh, symptoms that are really non-specific? When I looked at the patterns of her uh, blood calcium, I noted her blood calcium was a bit uh, elevated. Uh, approximately nine months ago, it was 10.1 uh, and now it's 10.5 milligram per deciliter. The normal is to be under 10.1 to 10.2 milligram per deciliter. Any number more than that is abnormal. The range is usually about 8.2, 8.5 to about 10.1, 10.2. So her calcium levels have increased over time and her symptoms were non-specific, which made me believe this patient may have an excess production of calcium. The question is, where is it coming from? And I'm gonna share the video with you very shortly. I hope you enjoy. Hi everyone, I hope all you are doing well. This is the still images that I wanna share with you because there's a video to follow very shortly, a live virtual video. But this is looking at the parathyroid adenoma that I discussed as the diagnosis for the patient's elevated blood calcium level. She was feeling confused at times, constipation, nonspecific body aches, abdominal pain. And during the workup, I looked at her labs and her labs indicated that her serum calcium had gone from 10.1 to 10.5 and her parathyroid hormone level was inappropriately elevated at 94 uh, a picogram per deciliter. And that was kind of concerning to me. And therefore, I think what we did here is we took this case one step further, examined her neck and did the ultrasound. This is the still images you can see right here. On the left side, right below the thyroid, you see this oval elliptical dark mass here. This is consistent with the left inferior parathyroid. This is the carotid artery that takes blood from your heart to your brain. And this is uh, the thyroid left side. Below the thyroid on the left side, you've got this dark oval and most likely this is responsible for excess production of parathyroid hormone which sends signals to the bone by taking calcium and phosphorus out of the bone, dumping it into the blood and then sending that calcium into the kidney to be filtered. Well, the risk is if this is left undone, it is, it'll take out excess calcium out of your bones, which led most likely to early signs of bone loss, osteopenia, or further progression to osteoporosis. But also here, this is gonna put a lot of pressure on the kidney long-term because it's going to make the kidney filter more calcium than it really requires. So it may increase the risk of kidney stones down the road. So hopefully this will not happen to this patient because we caught it quite early and go from there. So this clearly shows that there is a benign producing parathyroid adenoma, which is responsible for the patient's serum calcium and most likely responsible for the symptoms of non-specific abdominal pain slight confusion at time and some patients are more sensitive some people feel it when their calcium levels are at 10.4 10.5 some feel it when they get close to 11 milligram per deciliter therefore because she's young and healthy had no other risk factors we really want to take a look at this and making sure this is the cause and if it's the cause we really will offer this patient a minimally invasive parathyroid surgery because the patients typically have excellent outcomes and they're surgically cured so I want to share these images with you uh, to make it uh, more straightforward. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please follow the videos. So this is an image of a uh, thyroid uh, left-sided. This is the thyroid structure you can see from here to here. This is the carotid artery. The blood vessel takes uh, uh, blood from the heart into the brain. And you can see right here with this shadow that's oval and elliptical is the parathyroid adenoma. This is exactly to the structure we are describing here. And this is oval, it measures uh, 0 0.4 by 0 0.79 centimeter in the long dimension. And this parathyroid adenoma in the video you can see is responsible for the excess production of the calcium that you see in the blood supply. This was picked up uh, on the in-clinic ultrasound today as we saw the patient. And you can see how important it is to be able to look at this directly ourselves 
during the consultation in which we can find this parathyroid adenoma. So again, this is a benign producing tumor that produces a hormone called parathyroid hormone, which is responsible for causing excess production of calcium by taking calcium out of the bone into the blood circulation. And this patient most likely will require surgical intervention as we have located this for a minimally invasive parathyroid resection by an expert endocrine surgeon here. All right, I hope this image has been helpful to you as a live video.